Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. The voltage drop across a forward biased diode is 0 0.7 volt in the following circuit. The voltage across the 10 ohm resistance in series with the diode and 20 ohm resistance R. Here we have given four options. Option A 0 0.70 volt, 4.28 volt. Option B 3.58 volt, 4.28 volt. Option C 5.35 volt, 2.14 volt. And last D option 3.58 volt, 9.3 volt. Now, what says the question? Here we have given a 10 volt battery. Its positive terminal is connected with P and negative terminal is connected with N. And potential drop of this diode is given that is 0 0.7 volt. And the resistance is connected with this diode that is 10 ohm. In between here, 20 ohm resistance is connected. We have to calculate the potential difference between this point and this point. Okay. Let us first we have to label this diagram. Let's say of this quarter is A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. So here we have using Kirchhoff's closed circuit law. What says the Kirchhoff closed circuit law? Here, Kirchhoff's closed circuit law says that in closed loop, the summation of EMF, suppose E1, E2, E3, our battery are connected. Okay. So here let us suppose E1, E2, E3, and all batteries connected, the summation of EMF is equal to summation of product of current and resistance. This is the Kirchhoff closed circuit law. So here we have using Kirchhoff closed circuit law in the loop of A, B, E, F, A. And we have using Kirchhoff second times B, C, D, E, D. Okay. Now here we have taken this closed loop A, B, E, F, A. Okay. So here I1 current and 20 ohm resistance that is 20 into I1. And now it comes towards to the F to A. We have 10 ohm resistance and current is I. And what is the EMF is present? 10 volt. According to diagram, we can see that here this battery produces I current and it is divided into parts I1 and I2. It means I equal to I1 plus I2. So now substitute the value of I in the place of this I1 plus I2 equal to 10 volt. So here 20 I1 plus 10 I1, 10 I2 equal to 10. So here 20 I1 and 10 I1, 30 I1 plus 10 I2 equal to 10. It is first equation. Okay. Now here we have moving closed circuit loop. What is the path? That is B, C, D, E, B. B, C, D, E and again B. Okay. So here, here is the potential drop, not EMF. Remember, it is only potential drop, not EMF. So here, we have written 0 0.7 as it is plus. And now, the current passing through this C to D, that is I2. So here, 10 and multiply with I2. Now we have to move in to C to B and the direction of current that is B to E. So therefore we have using sign convection minus 20 and here I1 equal to 0. 
because there is no any present here source of the battery so therefore we have put here zero okay so minus 20 i1 plus 10 i2 and this is transposing to the right side then become 0 0.7 that is the second equation okay now solving first and second equation by subtracting this is change sign positive negative positive this will cancel out 30 and 20 50 i1 equal to 10.7 i1 equal to 10.7 divided by 50. Removing this decimal, this is 0, 500 and uh, 107, that is 0, 0.0, that is 1000, 500, that is 200, and 5 for the 20. So here, I1 equal to 0 0.214 ampere. Okay. Now substitute this value of I1 in uh, first equation that 30 0 0.214 plus 10 I2 equal to 10. Okay. Then 0 0.214 multiply 30. So here we get 1, 2, 3. 6.42, 6.42 plus 10 I2 equal to 10. Then 10 I2 equal to 10 minus 6.42. Then how much? 10, 6.42, that is 8, 3.58. So here, here I2 equal to 3.58 divided by 10 then I2 is equal to 0 0.358 ampere. So here we get two currents I1 0.214 ampere and I2 0 0.358 ampere. Okay. Now we have to calculate this potential and this potential. Okay. Now potential of CD here potential of CD what is the current? Current is I2 and what is the resistance? 10 ohm. And I2, you have already find out 0 0.358 into 10, it means 3.58 volt. Okay. And for potential of BE, the current is I1 and resistance is 20. And what is I1? We have already find out 0 0.21. 4 into 20. So 14 to the 28 to the 4, then 4.28 volt. That is the potential at uh, BE. So let's see which option is missed here. Here option B is correct. 3.58 and uh, 4.28. Okay. So here that is the correct answer. I hope so. You understood this question. Thank you for staying till the end of this video. Definitely, when you will become success, full contribution goes to your hard work. But if my videos, my lectures, my questions will help in your success, I will consider myself lucky. Please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye-bye.